Okay guys, so I want to show you how to take this information you have right here and create a Google spreadsheet so that it will make a pie chart for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google and if for some reason you don't have a Google account, I'm going to log out of this and I'll show you how to log back in. If you don't have a Google account, you can always use the Hunt Science one at gmail.com and the password is hunt student it's all lowercase all one word I'm gonna sign in and then I have several new ones here um, I wanna first look at we're gonna create a spreadsheet now the first thing you always need to do is save your spreadsheet and I just did that by clicking on the title up here click on it and then I'm gonna put my last name, my first name, and then um, this is common elements video. Okay, so what I can do now, and it's always best, remember if you can keep a window to the side, so that way you don't have to keep clicking, you don't have to keep switching back and forth between the two. So here I'm going to go ahead and type in all of the names. Oxygen. Okay, so I've got all my names typed in. Now I'm going to go back and put in these numbers. So 46.1 and so on. Every now and then I'm checking to make sure that I've put in the correct numbers. Okay, once I have all my numbers in, then what I'm going to do is go to insert and we want to insert a chart. And we want a pie chart and it looks like it selected all of the right stuff so maybe I want to make it 3D I can customize it the chart title would be most common elements on earth Now one thing that I didn't do but that I want you to do is in these sections over here I want you to put the chemical um, the it's not the the abbreviation for it so you can use the periodic table that's on the wall which is what I'm doing right now or you can use um, I can make a link to one as well or you could use what I'm doing right now and just take what I've done and use that. There's no need to don't feel like you're copying or stealing. It's common knowledge. But you'll notice that I'm being very careful with my capitalization it would be great if you could do the same and my punctuation the bell just rang so y'all are fixing to come in the door Now to type in these so I don't erase everything, I'm just double clicking. 
and you'll see my chart here has updated. Now all you need to go to is File, Print, and then, yeah, I want to fit it to the page, probably do Landscape, um, and that's it. I'll click Print, and you're done. All right, holler if you need have questions.